Hi, my name is Randy Williams. I'm from Beeville, Texas, and I'm a third year PhD student in mechanical engineering at the University of Texas at Austin. My research involves acoustic MEMS, and MEMS is an acronym that stands for Microelectromechanical System. And these are basically tiny electromechanical devices built with the same kind of fabrication techniques used in the semiconductor industry. There are many different types of MEMS, frequently these are sensors, and they include things like the microphone used in your cell phone and also the air pressure sensor um, in your tires. The project I'm working on is sponsored by the Office of Naval Research and involves the design, fabrication, and testing of an optical displacement sensor. This is going to be integrated into an underwater acoustic velocity sensor that will measure the velocity of fluid particles underwater as the acoustic wave travels through. These devices are fabricated on wafers, which are discs cut from a single crystal of silicon, or in other cases, of glass. These wafers are fabricated in the clean room at the University of Texas Microelectronics Research Center. These devices have very small features, on the order of microns in some cases, and nanometers in other cases. Now it's very important that we work in the cleaner because even a tiny piece of dust that would settle on the device during processing could completely ruin it. We use equipment and processes commonly used in the MEMS and the semiconductor industry. Things like photolithography, which is used to create a pattern on the surface of wafer, piezoelectric film deposition, which is used to create sensing elements, electron beam evaporation and sputtering, which are used to deposit thin layers of other materials on the surface of the wafer, reactive ion etching, which is used to etch trenches and other features down into the substrate, and then in some cases our features are so small you can't see them with a regular optical microscope. So in these cases, we use the scanning electron microscope to be able to measure features that are on the order of a nanometer in size. Acoustic particle velocity sensors are used in underwater applications such as exploration, communication, and surveillance. Basically any application where you need to detect an acoustic signal underwater. When people think about measuring acoustic signals underwater, they typically think about hydrophones which measure the magnitude of pressure at a point. Acoustic particle velocity sensors, on the other hand, give both the magnitude and the direction of the particle velocity as the acoustic wave comes through. This can be used to find the acoustic intensity, which gives the direction of acoustic power flow. Very important, for instance, when trying to identify the location of a source underwater. So ultimately my work is going to allow us to shrink the size of these underwater acoustic sensors without sacrificing quality. In fact, it's going to help us to detect signals underwater that were previously too quiet to measure. This technology can also be used for other similar sensors, such as geophones used in oil and gas exploration and microphones for audio applications. For more information on this project, you can visit the UT Acoustic MEMS website. Thanks for watching.